Welcome back to Mark Fisher Outdoors, everybody. Came out here on my little lake up here in Wisconsin with uh, no real anticipation of filming an episode today and just going out and doing a little fishing and relaxing a little bit. But something happened and I thought this is a good topic to talk about. This is a lake that I love throwing a Cinco on and just throw a wacky rig Cinco around docks and things like that. But today's episode, guys, is talking about if you're throwing a wacky rig Cinco uh, and you're not getting bit on it, there is something to do before you give up on that altogether, and that's to downsize. So stick around, guys. We're going to talk about that, and we're going to show you in today's On the Water episode just how effective downsizing your Cinco or your small stick bait uh, can be and you can still catch some really good quality fish downsizing your Cinco. Stick around guys. Welcome back to On the Water Wednesday. I'm Mark Fisher Outdoors, everybody. I'm Mark Fisher. So I went, I started out just throwing a wacky rig Cinco around. And as I would, like I said, I was just really looking to see what stage the lake was in. So I was just kind of casting around while I was looking at, looking for beds, watching the water temperature, those kinds of things, seeing a lot of bluegill beds. Throwing a wacky rig Cinco, normal five inch wacky rig Cinco in green pumpkin. And I got bit a couple of times, but didn't hook up. Just kind of fish taking the bait, uh, swimming off. Made me think maybe those are bed fish, but I don't really think they were. And so what I ended up doing was switching either way, regardless of whether they were or not, I switched over to a little four inch Cinco. So that's your normal five inch Cinco. And then I switched over to a little four inch Cinco. And as soon as I did that, very first cast with the four inch Cinco, caught a nice pound and a half, two pound bass, as you'll see here. what I'm talking about guys. These little four inch sinkos will catch big fish just as much as they will the little ones. That's a good fish. And that was on the little four inch. As soon as I switched over to the four inch, then that's what we got with that little four inch single. Proceeded to go out and catch a limit of bass and a lot of fish, whether they were keepers or non-keepers or, or keepers. But as you'll see in this video, a lot of fish that were good quality fish seeming to be in post-spawn. Um, and guys, I just really think that this is something that you may want to watch this video and kind of ask, consider the fact that if you're throwing a Cinco around and you're not getting bit or you're getting bit but not getting hooked up, try throwing a little four inch Cinco.
another good one. go see like I said these little four inch Cinco's sometimes all you got to do is downsize to those little four inches and you end up getting more numbers and some decent sized bass I've found that a lot of times even in the in the heat of the summer it may be that the fish get conditioned to that Cinco and throw in a smaller size Cinco um, they will eat that when they won't eat the 5 inch Cinco. Guys if you wouldn't mind while you're watching today's On the Water Wednesday episode if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel send in your comments hit the like button we appreciate your engagement with the channel and as always, if you have any ideas for things that you would like to see, please send those along with your comments. Another one. There's a good one. Guys, sometimes downsizing that Cinco is exactly what you need to do. Let me get this guy back in the water. I think that's a good way to wrap up today's episode. Guys, if you like the content, please hit that subscribe button, send your comments, share the videos with your buddies. We'd love to grow this channel even more, but we think that this is a important tip that I don't know that a lot of guys are aware of throwing a Cinco obviously everybody knows that it's a fish catcher but if you're not catching fish or you're getting bites but not hooking up switch to a little four inch Cinco wacky style and see yeah you might catch some smaller fish as well but you can catch bigger fish with it just as well and I think the springtime is a perfect time to try this out. Downsize your Cinco. Check it out, guys. 
We'll see you again tomorrow on another episode of Mark Fisher Outdoors. Take care, everybody.